<laughs> What's up guys and welcome back. First off, I'm probably gonna have to apologize. I don't have the exact number of days, but it's definitely been a couple weeks ago, even more since I posted my last video. I don't have any excuses other than this one that I've been working my ass off. Um, and I know it's, it's, it's not an excuse, but the reason why I really haven't posted anything is because, I, it's because I've changed up everything completely uh, with Shopify dropshipping. Before I mainly, re before I only did Instagram marketing, which is also why I haven't made any Facebook ads videos. Which now, because of the change, I'm gonna do so because now I do solely and only Facebook advertisement. Anyways, I've been working my ass off on that, and I can happily say there's been great results so far. Slowly but surely, we're gonna get in there. In the first, I just want to get some sales for Facebook ads because I'm brand new at it. Um, failed with the first one, second one, so kind of got some ads, and now I'm in the steam where I'm at least gonna make around a hundred bucks a day, which is awesome, 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 just on Facebook alone. The goal, though, within this month or maybe next month, is to make. I think next month I want to get some days where I make a thousand a day. The video today is gonna be about product research. I found out looking through my videos, looking through other videos from other YouTubers, that. And also what I prefer is that when I meet a guy on YouTube who just says it as it is, don't try to cover it in for his own sake, just says this is what you need to do, step by step, and then you can implement it in how you want to do. That way you get the information as clear for you as possible, and that's how you're really going to implement it in your business. So as you know, today we're going to talk about product research, and I'm going to make it super, super quick. One thing I want to point out that I don't, I think maybe confuses you. Shopify dropshipping, just dropshipping in general, especially with, with Shopify using AliExpress, Obello, Obello, or what you would call it, etc. It's not hard. It's not hard. You can do it. The thing that is hard is being persistent, is putting in the work, and knowing and accepting that you're going to spend money and you're going to lose money in order to eventually make money. Okay, it's that simple. So might as well make the product research, the marketing, uh, building a website, all that, make that the fun part. Because it's not really the hard part, it's the fun part. Now, in order to succeed, you have to do those things pretty damn well. It's the marketing you have to focus on. But if you just do these things, you just need to know how you do them. When you know that, you just do it and then just keep on going and you keep on improving. That's how you're going to succeed. That's how you can succeed in a shorter period of time if you really... Uh, want to learn from your mistakes. So I'm not going to try to make this product research, I'm not going to make this product research hard for you to to do, to to make you think it's very hard, I need to spend 12 hours a day, because it's not. I'm going to tell you what I use to make at least 100 bucks every single day. And I have three steps, three steps. And I am going to jump into my computer afterwards, just quickly, just to show um, the things I'm going to talk about. But the remainder I can just tell you right here. Okay, sit down and get ready. Maybe make some notes or take your phone up and do what I tell you right now because this is the exact blueprint I use to find products. A hundred bucks a day. Number one, take out your beloved friend, the thing you almost love the most in your world, take out, take out your phone. Now, you've done that? Great. Go on to Facebook. Afterwards, you're going to go on to Instagram, and you're going to go on to Snapchat, Twitter, whatever you use. I mainly use, well, I pretty much I only use Facebook and Instagram, but you can use them, the other platforms as well. But let's just take Facebook and Instagram. You go onto there, as you do normally throughout your day. Scroll down and stop whenever you see an ad. Normally, when you just scroll down your feed, you don't really think about it, but now, every time you see an ad, look at the ad. First off, I recommend you liking the ad, no matter what ad it is, because then, Facebook knows that you are interested and they're going to just get, show you more ads, which is a good thing right now when you're in the business, okay? But take a look at the ad. First thing you take a look at, is it a product I can sell? If it's a car company promoting a, 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 a car, of course you can't find that on AliExpress and sell it. So first off, is this a product you can sell? Well, yes it is. Okay. Second, check the engagement. Have a good engagement, have it likes, have it comments. But mainly if it has good engagement, there will be buyers. Uh, this product is getting... Into uh, attention is getting traction. This is a, so to speak, winning product just at first eyesight. Now after that, if you see as a bonus, if you see the ad a couple times throughout the day or throughout the days, 
that's just a bonus point because that shows that this actually works and this keep on coming, this keep on retargeting you. But nevertheless, when you've looked through your Facebook, when you look through their Instagram, and it's also on Instagram stories, you find products that you can actually find on AliExpress and you can sell. The engagement is good. You've maybe seen it a couple times. Now you know something is right. Something is going good and correct for this product. This is some. This is a product people are actually selling and actually buying, okay? Second thing you do, you go to AliExpress. You actually find the product. Once you have, if, it can maybe be the niche you search on, but if you know the product itself, search on the product, click on the orders tab, which I'm going to show you in just 30 seconds. Click on the orders tab, find the product. It doesn't have to be the number one product that have the most sales. Scroll down half page, just find um, the exact product. You scroll, go, down, go on to the product page, scroll down to the transaction history and check if this product actually get orders and how many orders it gets a day. This right here is social proof. First you have the social proof on Facebook, on Instagram. Now you have it on the uh, on the product page where you can actually see, well, this is getting 12, 10, 5, 10, 20, 30 sales a day. This is actually selling. That's all you need. Now for the third tip I'll give you is go on to Google Trends, search up the product, search up the niche, search up anything around it. First check worldwide, how is it going, is it trending, is it going down, what is the value of the product, of the niche. Then you can check for 12 months, you can check for 3 months, uh, you can check from 2004 to present, check them all out, just check what it is. And then after you check that on worldwide, go to the country that you're actually selling. In my case, I pretty much only sell in the United States, then I just choose United States and I check it all out there. Google Trends is a perfect platform to really check out what is trending how does the future maybe look and how have it looked okay uh, but again it's not as important at, at this point because you already have seen it being promoted it, it being ha having good engagement and traction on facebook instagram and you can actually see physical proof that there are coming sales out of this product one more thing check also for the feedback and for the price and for the seller when you're on aliexpress um, I'm, I'm sorry we just forgot that that's it that's pretty much what I use for product research. Now, of course, it's not going to be this fast. Of course, it takes time to find it. All you need is a decent and good product. And you can find that by doing that. And then this all comes down to your marketing because you can sell anything on Facebook. So guys, that's, that's it. I don't want to make it more complicated. That's all three steps. Look through the social media. Look for what is being promoted already. What's, have, what's gaining traction, what's getting results. Go find the product on AliExpress, check for feedback, check for prices, check for the transaction history. Is this actually selling? Go to Google Trends. Is this product trending? How does the future look? How is it worldwide? Those three steps is all you need to find a product you can make at least 100 bucks a day. And once you can make 100 bucks a day on a product, you can scale it up to 1,000 to 10,000. Now, not every product, because some product will be saturated and you can make 100 bucks a day, but it's gonna slowly start to vary every day because it's inconsistent because it is saturated. But if it's not, and or if it is saturated, but you can still keep on making sales, once you get to the $100 point, it's because of some, some kind of interest at least. And then you can start scaling. That's that simple. Right now, I'm gonna jump straight into computer and I'm gonna show you, pretty much just gonna show you AliExpress and Google Trends. You know about Facebook, Instagram, all that, just, just looking through the feed. Uh, so yeah, let's go th straight to it. What's up guys, and welcome to the computer. First and foremost, I'm sorry I can't fill out the whole uh, website. Uh, banner, uh, just the website in general. It's the second time something I'm filming like this where I have a, where I can see myself up here and I'm just gonna do this. Yeah, bit better. Um, so it needs some learning, but right now we're just gonna get straight into it. So as, as you can see up here, we got AliExpress, we got Google Trends. Now let's pretend, let's pretend we have found a product. Let's say, Let's pretend right now I've been on Facebook, I've been on Instagram, uh, on my feed, scroll down, I've found a product that, that I've maybe seen twice, or I can see that's great um, engagement on. Now I'll go to AliExpress. Let's say the product I've seen has been women's necklace. Uh, maybe a, just in general. Let's just say women's necklace jewelry. Okay, now what I want you to do is, can you see where it says best match? Now, usually I can just do this really quick. It just says orders like this. Um, 
So what I would do is you go down and you click on orders. Cause that's gonna align uh, what have the most orders. You get down here, see it has 21,000 orders, 20,000, 15,000, and so on, so on. So what I would do, I wouldn't pick the first, even though it is getting a lot of sales. So if the product you found and you've seen this product is actually selling right now, you, of course you could take number one because most of the sales can also be a year ago. And at the end of the day, when you have a lot of sales, it's just showing it is selling. But it does mean it's selling right now. But if it is, you can use it. But let's say you go down to have page. I like to take those with a couple thousand um, sales. Let's just say we don't want to go too far down either. Um, no, it's fine. Let's just stay in the high, high range. It is what it is. Uh, this one here. This is 160, uh, 235 with e package, which you can, which means that you can have great margin on margins on it. You can, and this seems like an item you can put a good value on. Okay, so first off, what we will look at is stars, 4.8 stars, brilliant. I wouldn't go less than 4.8, 4.7, uh, but most products you will find that is selling is up here, so it's no problem. Price is good, and of course you can go and you can check sh check shipping out by clicking here. Um, Everything is fine here, and then you just scroll down, and you have product details and you have product description, which is going to show a bit. We're just going to make the page loader where you're going to show see a bit more up close and um, more detailed pictures. This is actually a beautiful item. Um, you can see the sizing. You can see no, that's the delivery time. Sorry, yeah, yeah. So sometimes you'll see pictures of customers who's wearing it, which is awesome. But again, you can see this is selling, this is working. What you do now is the most crucial part, and this is the, the, the thing I love to use the most. It's just what I've talked about, transaction history. Okay, this is page one. Today is 21st of, 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 of June. You see here, one piece, two piece, one piece, one piece, all the way down. Today is had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sales. Okay, page two. It's selling on, it also sold yesterday, so two pages. Three pages, four pages, five pages, six pages, uh, five and a half pages, and then goes on to the next one. And I bet if you can go like this, yeah. So you can see this is what I mean. Right now, guys, I've actually just found a product randomly that you can start selling today. Because as you can see, it's getting sales. It's that simple. You don't need a an expert, a, a juro. That's not what you call it. You don't need an expert to find a product that you can sell and make a bunch of money on. Listen, I randomly just searched on women's women's accessory, accessories jewelry. I found this beautiful necklace just a bit down with four and a half thousand sales of what it is. And this is selling. Okay. Get a piece of the pie. Don't make the pie yet. Get a piece of the pie. Because what you have to think about, a piece of the pie of a big pie, that's a lot of money. And right now you just want to get started. You want to build your, your email list. You want to build your customers. Or you want to build your brand. This right here is perfect start. Okay, so you get what I mean. Now, right now, again, this is why I say Google Trends doesn't matter as much in this situation, uh, with this strategy, because in this strategy, you all, you have seen twice now that it's working. You've seen on social media that it's working. You've seen on AliExpress that it's getting sell. So it doesn't mean as much, but you can still go on to Google Trends and search for, um, yeah. So right now, I just searched on women necklaces, click down worldwide to start off with, uh, past 12 months, uh, and yeah, you can also go into all categories, uh, but again, you just search on it, so it doesn't really matter right now. So we can see here, interest over time, uh, back in December, November, had a bunch of sales, makes sense, Christmas and all that, went a little bit down, going up, going up, and been steady. Like So again, this is a product that some products, no, this is a niche where some products maybe trends, here and there, but women wears and buys necklaces throughout the year, so which, which is why it's steady. So again, doesn't show too much. And here you can see where it is the most interested. And get back to worldwide, bro. So again, here we have past 12 months. What I usually do is I go down to you can take past 30 days, but it doesn't show you that much. Past 90 days is three months. It shows a bit more. Um, you can see here. Yeah, it's going a bit down here, but again, pretty damn fine. And you go to 
2004 to now just to see it, you know, it's not much you can use right now, but just to see the overall of the niche, because you're going to sell in the niche anyway. Uh, so you can see it's pretty fine. Um, I wouldn't mind too much that it's going maybe a bit down, as I can see, because at the end of the day, it is selling. And again, when you are promoting on Facebook, uh, when you are uh, mainly promoting on Facebook, it, re it really does matter, as long as you can see the product getting sales. So what I will do here is select the country that you are actually going to sell in. Personally, again, I sell in the United States. So what I will do is I will, funny enough, go and find the United States uh, and check it out there. Again, December here, and then steady again. Uh, that's and pretty much the same here. So yeah, guys, this is not the best quality, but it is what it is, bro. Yeah, this was this video. Um, it maybe turned out to be a bit long as well, but the, the point of the video and where the, the information, where the value is a actually is, the video is not that long because it's so, so simple. You got number one, look through social media to check for actual social proof that there's be, that these that this product is being promoted, uh, it's getting good traction, etc. Two, find it on AliExpress to see if you can actually sell the product, find the product when you have found the product, check for transaction history to check if it's actually getting sales. And of course for feedback, etc. And then you can also look Google Trends to just check the overall niche and check the, the products. Uh, is it trending? Is it not? Is it neutral? Or whatever. But again, once you have these two locked out, it doesn't really mean that much. Uh, but again, sometimes you find a product where you can see on Google Trends that this niche is like it's going straight up. This is trending right now. That just makes it 100% sure for you. You have to do this. Um, and then in those cases, if it ain't getting too many sales on AliExpress, it doesn't matter because the product is trending right now, so you can sell it. Um, so yeah, guys, this was it for this video.